The Parliament the Energy Committee of the Senate is this morning expected to demand answers from the Petroleum Cabinet Secretary John Munoz of the loss of billions of shillings through alleged oil spills. Uh, our reporter Chimu Taigoin is there and joins us live now. Uh, for, for, she's on phone, I hear, and she joins us live uh, with more. Has the Cabinet Secretary arrived, Chim Tai, and what is, how does it look like? Well, Hussein, uh, we were waiting for the Cabinet Secretary. Initially, the CS was to appear yesterday before the committee, but he failed to appear and promised to appear this morning at 8 o'clock. But a few minutes ago, um, he said he was stuck in traffic. Then uh, maybe about 10 minutes later, the CAS stated that the CS had uh, some other functions that he needed to attend, so he will not come. Members of the committee are actually very angry. Um, one of them, Senator from Narok, Ledama Olekina, saying it's unbecoming of the cabinet secretary because uh, this will be the second time he has skipped sittings with the energy committee. And um, he says they should call off the meeting and issue someone to the cabinet secretary, the management of the Kenya Pipeline Corporation, uh, so that they can come back again and answer questions. Various answer, uh, questions were being asked by the committee, including the financial status of the Kenya Pipeline Corporation, the issues of corruption that have been leveled against certain individuals within the organization, the question of fictitious oil spillage and the millions of shillings that has been lost in that particular matter. So currently, as, as we speak, uh, the committee is deliberating on uh, what course of action to take on the cabinet secretary and maybe uh, schedule another session where he is expected to respond to those uh, questions that the committee had. But really, what, already, what is already coming out from the, de the deliberations is that the committee is finding it a bit uh, funny that the cabinet secretary changed um, his sort of story the last time uh, they were waiting for him. They've been waiting for him the past one and a half hours, do think? Chimtai, it does not, from what I'm hearing, it's saying that they're considering uh, rescheduling. It does not yes. suffice that the, the CAS engineer Musanik and the PS Andrew Kamau are there? In fact, uh, the issue that has even come up is that the letter that was sent to the, the management, the ministry, and even uh, part of members of the Kenya Pipeline Corporation was actually a wrong letter, not one the committee had settled on. The questions that were, the, the responses that the uh, CAS and the PS have brought are not in line with the questions that the committee initially wanted. So even the committee is trying to understand where, where the mix-up between the letters sent to the ministry came from. And it appears even the, the members that are here the principal secretary and the CAS cannot adequately respond to the questions the, the Energy Committee has. So maybe this meeting will really have to be postponed because already the PS had indicated that on questions of the financial status of Kenya Pipeline, it is a matter that requires uh, a number of days for them to sit down and try and look at all the books, balance them and bring them to the committee. So it is really not something that they cannot respond to as of now. Okay? Right, Shim Tai, thank you so much for uh, joining us live from Parliament.